Hey everyone, okay, so this is the kind of video that I wish I had seen um, years and years ago when I was starting out. And it's about hooded eyes, and I'm not talking about hooded eyes on young skin, because regardless of whether you have a crease or not, the skin is taut, the skin is still quite firm. So this video is dedicated to those of you whose skin on the upper lid is hooded, is coming down, and is loose. And this is very important because when we're doing um, eye makeup, and it often seems as well that um, women with very hooded eyes often tend to want to wear the most amount of eyeshadow, because, and it's the trickiest eye to work with, in my opinion, particularly as we get older, because the skin is very, very loose, and it moves around, and even with the softest brushes, the skin is gonna move, so eyeshadow placement becomes very, very difficult. Now, there are a couple of things you can do, and then we'll get on with how I approach them most of the time. So the first thing you can do is put a tiny bit of powder on the outside corner of your eye and use this as a guideline. Now this is great, but again, as you start to move the eyeshadow around with a brush, you're actually gonna hit that line and it's gonna to start to move again and the skin is gonna move back and forth, so that's a problem. The other way is you can clean it up, which is how I approach makeup, which is with a wet wipe, and the tutorial coming on Friday, I believe, um, that will show you how to get a really feline eye using this technique. But again, because the skin over this section here moves, as you move a wet wipe up, it's not gonna get that straight line. It's not gonna get that lift the same way because the skin is moving, so you're gonna get patches of shadow. Now, I often think that the, it's better to approach it if you've got a very, very hooded eye, realistically, because you can't make butter with a toothpick. And the way I like to approach eyes is a very, very standard way of doing it. So let's get on with that. The first thing you're gonna do is line the upper eyelid. Now, bear in mind that um, lining the upper eyelid is great, but only partial, a part of it is gonna be shown. So you need to use a waterproof um, pencil. Line the upper eyelid in total. Now, when you open your eye, chances are if you've got a very hooded eye, the only portion that's gonna be visible is sort of the inner corner. Don't worry about that. Next, line underneath the eye and connect the eye up so the line is going all the way around. Defining the lower lash line on a hooded eye is incredibly important. Next, take a shadow, let's just say it's daytime. So take a shadow that you want and run it over that coal. It's gonna set it and it's gonna give a bit of color and life to the eye. If you wanna use a shimmer, go for it. It really doesn't matter. So now you've done that, all you wanna do next is highlight the inner corner of the eye a little bit, so use a lighter color, and if you want to highlight the brow bone, use a tiny bit on the very end of the brow. Then curl your lashes and apply mascara. Now approaching it this way, your eye is open, you're gonna see the eyeshadow because you've got it underneath, which is why defining the lower lash line is so important. And if you've got really great lashes, then great, your eyes are actually done and it's very, very simple. Or you can put on false lashes or mascara fibers, which I tend to prefer because I think they're really, really good. Now, if you're going out, you want it a little bit more dramatic, what you're gonna need to do is just go over that exact same shadow, but with a deeper color. And that's gonna transform it into a stronger look. Also, adding a cold pencil to the waterline will give it an even stronger look. Yes, it can shrink the eye slightly, but who cares? Your eyes are still gonna be the focus because of that intense cold. And it also is worthwhile pointing out that defining the upper lash line, particularly the inner corner, where you can see the eyelid with a black eyeshadow right into the lash bed will make all the difference. The other thing you can do if you want is you can take a eyeshadow that is one or two shades darker than your skin tone and very lightly, very, very lightly run it into the upper part of the eyelid where the crease should be. But the truth be told is I don't tend to do that anymore because just doing this technique, it's very simple, it's very basic, it's called a classic eye because that's how people used to approach eyeshadow. It's very, very beautiful and you rarely see it now because everybody's doing crease work and everybody's doing this. And I think it looks amazing because your eyes are the focus, but you've not overwhelmed anything else. You can put coal in to make it look really intense or you can just leave it and look fantastic. But this is how I would approach very hooded eyes, particularly on mature eyelids, because they are a problem. And rather than having to spend 30 minutes on each eye, sometimes using something very simple and just accepting, okay, got hooded eyes, they're a bit difficult, 
let's just go with it. My eyes can still be the focus without trying to learn new techniques or techniques that are going to take you a long time in order to get the same result. Because at the end of the day, eyeshadow is about making your eyes stand out. It doesn't matter whether it's just at the lash line or right the way over the entire socket. It's there to make your eyes stand out. And this does it. So there you go. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Oh, that's an old one. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Oh, and share it. I know you're not going to. Bye-bye.